Hubsan X4 Pro looks as other aircraft, but its design is more personalized. In operation, there are normal mode and expert mode. For beginners, they just need to set up the waypoint, the altitude, the flying track, the set site in the transmitter tablet, then press the start button. The X4 Pro can fly accordingly. You just need five minutes to learn the operation. It is as easy as iPhone and iPad. For experts who have a lot of experience in operating UAV, can be easily satisfied when you enter into the manual mode. Users can control the gimbal through the two side rotary switches on the transmitter. Slip the switch, the gimbal can rotate accordingly. The window size on the screen is adjustable so that you can watch the video and the waypoint at the same time. When in flight, you can random switch into manual mode. Leave the previous waypoint and go to new site for shooting even when you have settled the waypoints. Then you can switch to automatic mode and return to the previous waypoints. The previous waypoint can be saved in the transmitter so that you can go to the same site for shooting and avoid setting it again. In safety, our engineers take deeper consideration. At first, the transmitter has a dual system. If the Android system broken or when the transmitter crashed will go dark screen, the users can still see the data from the OLED to see the values of the X4 Pro and judge the X4 Pro's condition to decide whether the X4 Pro should land immediately or start the RTH system. Secondly, it is our escape system. The power of the parachute is standalone, which means even when the X4 Pro LiPo battery power running out, the parachute can still work. There is an inner sensor inside the parachute. When the X4 Pro goes abnormal, the sensor will detect it and work immediately, commanding the parachute to open automatically so that the X4 Pro can land safely to avoid causing damages. Dear Hubson fans, thank you for purchasing the H109S X4 Pro Quadcopter. The following introduction and the important notice of the X4 Pro are based on the high edition. Please read the user manual thoroughly before any operation. Please fully charge the batteries of the quadcopter, the transmitter, the camera, and the parachute to avoid loss of control due to low voltage. Please check our official video to learn the charging procedures. The gimbal and the camera are already assembled. Only the antennas and the propellers need to be assembled. First, fix the 2.4G and the 5.8G antennas to the quadcopter and to the transmitter respectively. Before assembling the propellers, calibrate the compass and test the motors. Please power off the gimbal to avoid any damage due to a larger tilt angle during the calibration. Make sure all the transmitter switches are in the downward position. Press the power button for 3 seconds. The quadcopter has finished the combination when all the parameters are displayed on the transmitter's LCD clearly. When the quadcopter's LED indicators turn red and blink, start the horizontal calibration according to the transmitter's instructions. When the quadcopter's LED indicators turn green and blink, and the transmitter indicates to start the vertical calibration, put the quadcopter nose downward and spin the quadcopter clockwise slowly. When the quadcopter's LED indicators turn solid white and solid red, and the instructions disappear on the transmitter, the compass calibration has succeeded. After the calibration, Press the start button for 3 seconds till the blue LED indicator lights up. Check the sound and the speed of the motors to make sure the motors work properly. A combination stick command is used to start and stop the motors. Push the left stick to the left bottom and the right stick to the right bottom to start the motor. Do the same operation to stop the motor. Assemble the propellers when make sure the motors work properly. 
The propellers are classified as A and B. Please assemble the A propellers to the motor threads that mark A in counterclockwise and assemble the B propellers to the motor threads that mark B in clockwise. Please lock and tighten the propellers. Place the quadcopter in an open field. Check the vertical and horizontal angles, which are normally zero. When the angle value is more than one or less than negative one, the quadcopter cannot ascend vertically. Then, recalibrate the compass the following way. Pull the throttle stick to the bottom position. Flip the GPS switch seven to 10 times quickly till the calibration instructions appear on the transmitter's LCD. Please turn on the GPS switch till the GPS satellites are up to six. Start the motor and the quadcopter is ready to fly. Push the throttle stick up and the quadcopter will rise. Push the stick down and the quadcopter will descend. Push the stick left and the quadcopter will rotate counterclockwise. Push the stick right and the quadcopter will rotate clockwise. Push the pitch stick up and the quadcopter will tilt and fly forward. Push the stick down and the quadcopter will tilt and fly backward. Push the stick right and the quadcopter will tilt and fly right. Push the stick left and the quadcopter will tilt and fly left. There are two silver trim buttons next to the two sticks, one for the rotation and the throttle, the other for the pitch and the roll. You can adjust the flight performance with the trim buttons when the quadcopter is drifting. An extra function of the throttle trim button is used to control the quadcopter flight LED indicators. Long press the throttle trim button to power off the LED indicators. Do the same operation to power on the LED indicators. There are two dials on the top sides of the transmitter. The left dial controls the horizontal angle of the gimbal, and the right dial controls the pitch of the gimbal. The transmitter beeps when the two dials are in their central positions. The following introduction is to the X4 Pro Intelligent Transmitter. On the top of the transmitter, from left to right, the function keys are for Android Power Button, Flight Control USB Plug, Android USB Plug, Video Output and Input Plug. The switches on the transmitter from left to right are for headless mode, GPS mode, home mode, and flight point mode. When the switches are in bottom positions, functions are closed. When the switches are in upper positions, functions are open. Please note that the home mode switch and the flight point switch, should anyone is on the upper position, the quadcopter enters into the automatic flight system. Pull down the switches to regain control. The figures on the transmitter's LCD stand for the quadcopter battery capacity, the transmitter battery capacity, 2.4G signal level, GPS satellites, flight time, flight distance, flight altitude, and the quadcopter head. The figures on the Android LCD screen on the top, from left to right, stand for GPS satellites, the quadcopter battery voltage, the quadcopter yaw, pitch, roll, altitude, distance, and speed. It's highly recommended that you download a map in place with Wi-Fi. The procedures are as follows. Enter the settings. Search the Wi-Fi. Input the password and connect. Enter into the Sunbird system and initiate the map. If there is no Wi-Fi outdoors, you can search and connect to a personal hotspot and download the map. In the bottom right corner, the first figure is for the quadcopter position. The quadcopter's position 
shows accurately on the map when you click the figure. For the first flight, please calibrate the map the following way. Click the right corner setting figure and enter into the advanced setting interface. Choose the first option, then go back to the previous interface. Click the waypoint figure and press the quadcopter position mark till a prompt message appears on the LCD. The second figure is for the live video. Click it to view the record. The video window can be moved, enlarged, or narrowed. The camera default state is for video. Click the red key to start the recording and click it again to stop. Click the M key and switch to the camera mode. Click the red key to take photos. Click the M key again to enter into preview mode. Click the play key to preview the record. Long press the camera button till the camera LED indicator blinks three times to format the SD card. The third figure is for Automatic Flight Point Course Edition. Click it to enter into the Edition interface. The functions figures on the left of the screen are as following. The first figure is for Aero Photograph. Click the figure and set a point on the map to make it the photograph spot. Then the camera will aim at this point wherever the quadcopter is. The second figure is for the Flight Point Edition. Click the addition figure and click the map. You can set up several flight points, altitudes, standing times, and gimbal angles. The third figure is for flight course addition. You can draw any line on the map to set up the flight points. The fourth figure is for cancellation. You can cancel any spot, flight point, or flight course with this function key. Long press the cancellation key to cancel all the setup flight points or course. Upload the flight point data. Turn on the GPS switch and the flight point switch when uploading has finished. Start the motors, then the quadcopter will fly automatically according to the setup data. This has been the introduction of the Hubson X4 Pro quadcopter. Thanks for your time.